What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we are going to see if we can continue to power up our Doom Turner Vulcan. As you guys know, uh, we're up to almost 140 million attack, that's because we did eight, we were able to, what, add one more of these little stars here, just from our passive income, which is cool. However, with this week's event, we were also able to fully max out our core 100 level on our mutated fungus Gster. Now that is important for one big reason. That now lets us level up from level 13 to 14, which gives us a whole nother divine power and lets us have a fifth Nirvana hero. So let's go ahead and do that. Holy cow, we need another core and another Polystar. We only need three Nirvana. Man, I guess we could technically keep going on this, but what are we at? We're at level 14, right? 16 would give us one more star i mean yeah that would be good but i'd rather just have more nirvana heroes so what we're going to do is see if we can take our last light hero because as you guys know we got one two three four of them all at maxed out the cool thing is though like again the, the divine power is really important because we just went from what 13 to 14 uh so now we're up to here which is another 10% damage boost, 5% damage resistance. That's a huge boost right there, which is awesome. Now let's see what happens. So we're at 139,608. What we're going to be doing is maxing you out, hopefully here. We're going from Polystar. We got everything we need, I think. The problem is probably just gonna be the levels here, which we're probably gonna have to wait one more event to get this one done. Unless we now, now oh, oh, wait, I just thought of something. If we want to prioritize this hero right here, now that we have the temple level, technically we don't need that unit. So hold on, who are, who are you a tenant for? Let's take a look and see who Gster was a tenant for. Do we care about Gster right now? Uh, but, but, but it's probably for you, right? Yeah, it is for Yorm Tum. So I guess we will keep it for the time being. That is fine. Let's see. Do we have anybody else's levels we need to increase? Yes, we do. We need to get some X upgrade levels here. We just got to keep going around and constantly be looking to see if there's more things for us to upgrade here. So we do get, do we get this EOS maxed out? Does this EOS have a skin? Huh. Skin would help with the additional stat boost. Hmm. 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 Who else to do? Well, we got everything we kind of need here. Uh, I guess for the time being, we just let that sit. There's nobody else that's not a tenant, although I guess we could take it. No, there's nothing invested in you, right? No, you're just level one origin. Yeah, the only one I would take it from is the Gster, and I think we'll just be patient at this point. So we did get you up to, wrong button, up to Nirvana 53. Does unlock this too. Increases damage reduction of all allies by 20% and they're blocked by 50%. That's pretty solid. I got to say, I do like that. I do like that. You are now up to 54 million attack and you are now up to, oh, do those stats really? Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. I don't actually use him as a tenant right now. <laughs> For some reason in my head. Oh my goodness. I was thinking we were using you as a tenant, but that's not, so I guess that's something we can try to grade here. So you are 54, 436. Technically we're using the HP skin and we're not even using the attack skin, which would be better. But we have 54 million attack here versus 41. What does that actually translate to? Let's do the math. We're gonna sacrifice some diamonds to see what it looks like. So. Let's just take you out here. A thousand says goodbye. Let's put you over here. That's a net of two million additional attack. That's not a huge amount. That really isn't a huge amount because you got to realize too, we're going from 54 down to 40. Wait, is that interesting? That's really, really interesting how that works out. Oh, wait, hold on. No, if we do this, we also have to do something else. I just realized it's not a huge difference, but we did have some invested here that we would have to shift over to here to truly get the damage or the, the attack difference. 
141.7. Yeah, it's not a huge amount. It's just over 2 million attack. That doesn't seem like that's that big of a deal, right? That seems like not really like I care. So until we decide to make like an S tier, then that might matter. But again, he's already got like a very good high attack value. Like this one's got 6,085 versus 6,139. So it's like, even though this is an A minus and this is only a B, no, yeah, B, it's not that big of a deal. It actually wouldn't be a big deal unless we did get like an S tier on him. And then I feel like that would be a difference. Cause like just swapping between these two, two million attack when we're talking about that much isn't all that crazy, right? That's that's definitely not something we particularly care about. So even though it looks like it would be a big increase by making our main hero swap over, it's not that big of a deal because 54 million, I mean, if we did get him S tier and we maxed out, that could be a quite a bit difference. Because it's not like we're going from 54 up to 63 like we would with the EOS at S tier. It would actually be going from 40 million attack up to 63. And I still think that is going to be the play. The problem is, will we ever get our hands on an S tier as Medell? As, uh, we're going to have to like find something. We might have to overpay for something. As much as a lot of as Medells have been selling for like the 40 to 50 thousand range we might have to buy something slightly higher just to get our hands on it and then we have to sink the rest of our starry gems into power provided through the soul temple soul gathering statue because if we do get an s tier we're literally gonna have to get like five thousand more power which is very expensive that's like 20 to thirty thousand starry gems on top so this 76 might not even be enough, but we keep transferring and converting more and more over. And I think this will end up working out good in the long run. We're basically tapped out of all these resources here. Um, we have hammers built up. We do have some cores stacked up. We got a lot of just random resources here that kind of looks good, but we just need an event to come around that we can really capitalize on. And again, here, yeah, we need we need more of those. We we are getting more chests here. We can keep focusing on the items that we need right now. These shards are probably gonna be completely useless. We'll have to see if that ever turns into something. Because like I got two, but like I'm only 900 through 5,000. I think by the time I make one of these, which is a huge error on my behalf, uh, I think we're gonna be running into a big, big issue here. So we'll have to see. We of course have more treasure train stuff to open. Kind of just waiting to open those until we get another treasure train that I want to participate in. I think right now, um, we just don't really have the resources to do it. Plus we'd wanna wait for this to reset anyway. So I think we're in pause mode, but we are gonna continue to power up this account. We do have, I mean, we literally just increased our damage like 10% across the board because now we have a whole nother divine power gem. So that's not too bad. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.